In my opinion, anybody who's a competent uh, computer engineer, coder level person um, should be able to see the obvious problem here. And um, I would phrase it this way. Uh, the invention of Bitcoin, the first time that um, a digital file was able to be created and not copied and controlled by a single person, um, uh, that, that's the invention here. And, and what was created was a, a, cell, a, a closed loop system whereby uh, within the system, digital files are created and managed and can't be copied. Uh, but what gives it value is its tie to the real world, which is proof of work. Uh, now, the reason this works is because no one in the system has to be trusted, only the code and the agreement that everybody participating in the system is running the same code. Once the network effect kicks in on that, you can't stop that part. So we're already there. Um, so you've got a closed loop system. The system creates digital files that can't be copied, that are controllable by single individuals. And um, uh, the rewards for helping maintain the system are the use of electricity, a provable use of electricity that the system itself can verify. No third parties have to verify any of this stuff. So the system checks and balances itself all day long. You can use the rules of the system to dictate the movement of these digital files over time and in some cases space. Um, but you cannot enforce the, the, uh, the digital file. You cannot, um, let me see how to say this. You cannot own a digital file and then enforce physical rules in the physical world in any way, right? So you cannot have a token that represents your mortgage. I mean, you could have it, but it doesn't mean you can enforce it, mm -hmm. right? Same thing for owning a car or anything else. You can't have a token. You don't need a token for anything else that you can use a database for because the systems that are creating these tokens um, are simply creating a uncopyable file that can represent value. That's it. But it cannot represent something in the real world other than the electricity used to create that value or what gives it that value, I should say. Um, and then you extrapolate out all this into the realm of economics and money. And you come to realize that there's only ever going to be one real money. If, you know, humans will converge on the best money. Bitcoin, in my opinion, is that. And so none of the others are going to win as money. So what are they going to win as? They can't do anything else with a digital file that is within a closed system, move, move, being able to be moved around, uh, you know, using public and private key cryptography to do what? To do what? To move a token around, right? That's all we're doing is we're moving digital files around here that we've given value to, right? And we've given them value because we can control them because the system runs itself. There are no third party actors that anybody needs to trust. And so now you could take your time and you could say, I want one of those digital files and I'll give you the shitty fiat dollars if you give me rights to that digital file. That's all this is. We're storing our value in digital files that we get to control. It's not storing it in bars of gold anymore or houses or anything else. We're simply storing our time. So what the hell do we need a million shit coins for? To store other pieces of our time? No, we don't. And we can't control real world assets with these digital files. NFTs are the biggest joke going. You take a, a, a real file of some kind, digital file, photo, uh, video, text, and you hash it. That's what an NFT is. It's a string of numbers and letters that represent an original file. Now, if you have that hash, that NFT, you have no idea what that looks like. And unless you have the original and hash it again to prove, haha, see my NFT links to this original because I can hash the original and it gets me this NFT number again. So what are you buying when you're buying an NFT? A, nu a big number. And the the, uh, the proof that you have, that, that, that this number represents something is the same thing I can make a thousand copies of and give to everybody else. So the NFT is pointless. 